Coupler Process By applying the Chatelier principle, we can maximize the yield of ammonia in the Hubble process. N2 reacts with H2 to produce 2 and H3. The delta H is negative. Delta H is negative value means the forward reaction is exothermic, the reverse reaction is endothermic. In order to maximize the yield of NH3, the concentration of NH3 must be reduced so the equilibrium position will shift to the right. Second, reduce volume of the system by increasing the pressure. When the pressure increase, means the volume of the system decrease, there is more collision between the compound in the system. So we need to less that collision to make that collision lesser by shifting to a fewer number of more of the gas means we need to have less number of more because you need less collision to decrease back the pressure so that's why you need less number of moles so on the left you have four moles in total of reactant on the right two more in total of reactant so the equilibrium shift to the right so you have more NH3 Next, reduce the temperature. We know that this forward reaction is exothermic reaction. When the temperature is reduced, you need more heat to balance that system back. So that's why you need more heat. If you need more heat, exothermic reaction is favorable. So the Equilibrium shift towards the right, you are produce more NH3. So that's why you need to reduce the temperature in order to form NH3 by doing exothermic reaction, forward reaction. However, NH3 forms so slowly at low temperature. We know that we need to reduce temperature so you have more NH3, but the reaction is very slow rate of reaction is very slow. You can have a lot of NH3 but it's, it is very slow. So high pressure and continuous removal on NH3 are used to increase the yield. But for temperature, it needs to be raised to moderate level and a catalyst is used to increase the rate. Without a catalyst, this reaction requires much higher temperatures and results in a much lower yield. So the optimum condition is for this Hubble process to happen, the temperature must be in between 400 to 500 degrees Celsius, pressure 500 to 1000 atmospheric pressure and you need iron as the catalyst. Catalyst increase the rate of reaction but it does not change the yield of the product means it does not change the number of the product it only increase the rate of reaction it does not change the composition of the equilibrium mixture so the reaction won't shift to the left or to the right if you add catalyst it won't shift the equilibrium it does not change example how will each of the following changes affect an equilibrium mixture of the three gases a when oxygen is added to the system, oxygen is a reactant. When it is added to the system, you need to balance it back by decreasing the oxygen. In order to decrease the oxygen, you need to react this oxygen with SO2 to form the product. So the equilibrium position shift to the right. B. The reaction mixture is heated. So here, delta H is less than zero means delta H is negative. The arrow on top means exothermic reaction, the arrow at the bottom means endothermic reaction. When the reaction mixture is heated, means you add more heat in the system, you need to absorb that heat again to make this equilibrium. So in order to absorb that heat again, you need the endothermic reaction to happen. Endothermic reaction is the reverse reaction. So the equilibrium position shift to the left, the Kc decreases. 
Next, the volume of the reaction vessel is double, means you increase the volume. Increase the volume means the pressure decrease. When the pressure decrease, means less collision between the molecules. Less collision between the molecules, you need to balance it back, you need more collision. If you need more collision, you need more number of more of the molecules. So if you need more number of more of the molecules, the total number of more on the left 3 mole, total number of more on the right is 2 mole. When you need more number of more, the equilibrium shift to the left in order to get more number of more to increase the pressure again. D. A catalyst is added to the mixture. Catalyst doesn't affect the equilibrium shift or equilibrium position. It only affects the rate of reaction. So when catalyst is added, the equilibrium position remains unchanged. Next, the total pressure of the system is increased by adding a noble gas means you add inert gas into the system. You add inert gas into the system. When you add in inert gas, the gas does not react with any gases in this system. So when it doesn't react with any gas in this system, the equilibrium position remains unchanged. Finally, SO3 gas is removed from the system. This one is removed from the system, means the concentration of the product is decreased. You need to balance it again by increasing the concentration of the product again. You need to produce the product again. So you need to use all the reactants to produce the product. So the reactant will consume. These two reactants will decrease and the equilibrium position shift to the right. Thank you.